96% of farms in the United States are owned by families, meaning that farming is a family tradition. In the same way, FFA is a family tradition for two Puerto Rican brothers. Puerto Rico was officially granted an FFA charter in 1932 and has had state officers serving the territory ever since. But this year is quite special as brothers Jorge and Javier are serving on the same state officer team and inspiring all of the association's members. It really makes inspires me a lot to get to and and work with my state office and it really inspires me to to work for Puerto Rico since we are have a um, different language mm -hmm. and I really got inspired on not just being a president but e even being a delegate here so I could have a voice for them so it was pretty amazing but the overall experience is amazing because I can get to visit like here the state convention mm -hmm. and it's so different so much different environments but at the same time we can get like so much similarities so I think that's a pretty amazing thing. I'm particularly a bit new to the FFA mm -hmm. although I did get state office but you know as the time passed I just like clicked in you know um, I had friends who inspired me to do this the past state officers really hyped me up to do it and it's definitely a decision I don't regret and definitely taught me a lot. We decided to go together because first of all if even one of us was not going to get to the state office since we were related to FFA, we could even give some um, each other a hand. That would be a great thing so we could cover our area. And, but at the same time, we, we were at the same time thinking, oh, we have the opportunity of both being in the same state office that has a lot of great advantages. One of the things that really um, worried me was one of us not getting it or like um, me getting it and not him because he has less time in the organization. You know, he's reaching that age. Yeah, and I definitely wanted us to be together. The brothers knew they wanted to join FFA because their father was a member and they wanted the same experiences he had. I'd say it's one of the reasons, yeah. You yeah. know, he used to be a state reporter, I think. Yeah. yeah. Since the experience, all the experience he had, he, we, he told us how much he learned, how much people he met, and he always, since we, he were, he was, we were little, he told us stories about it. Jorge and Javier also decided to join FFA because they grew up, still live, and work on their family's farm. It was actually one of the reasons that would, like inspired us to be in FFA because it's like all agriculture and stuff and that's where we grew up. It's a dairy farm and right now it's actually our location SAE and we, we really like their, we do a lot of work, it's very diverse. We get to work with the cows and milk them. We even had to uh, get to administrate some of the milkers, how they're doing and teach them. And we even, my father even like gets to teach us a little about uh, nutrition and genetics. So I think that's pretty cool. Jorge and Javier always enjoy being together. They truly feel blessed and thankful to serve Puerto Rico this year side by side as state officers. Like first of all, um, I get I, I don't get to be away of him. I can I can see him. I can be with him, and we can work together. We already know how we are, so that's a very good advantage since we get to know our flaws, our advantages, how we can we we can work together, and I think for socializing overall, we can get to better socialize and and speak with people. And since we even have the same SAE, it works overall, it was great. I had the opportunity to be in FFA with my older brother. So it is so much of a joy to me to get to see these two brothers experience all the organization has to offer together. I mean, after all, FFA is family and family is FFA. Reporting from the National FFA Convention and Expo, I'm Anna Cater Meyer.